So a couple people have pointed this out to me. Um, one student here sent this to me and was like, oh, I thought this was really cool. And actually a couple people even before that that I start seeing, like even my friends are like, oh, here's this thing about economics that I thought you think was cool. And so people really seem to like this particular episode of this podcast. So you probably have heard of Freakonomics before. It's Steve Levitt's book where he talks about his research. It's super interesting. It's from back in, I think, 2005. And then as part of that, they have a blog, a podcast, etc., sort of to go along with that. And this particular episode, they talk about whether it's actually good in various ways for someone to act like that rational economic man. And it both highlights what those assumptions are and what actually, you know, acting like that economic man entails, but it also talks about the ramification of that and thinks about, you know, would you actually like to live in a world of Spocks? Actually, some people probably would, some people probably wouldn't, and that's probably correlated to whether you yourself are Spock-like, right? And, you know, they talk about sort of two different things. You know, in this class, we focus more specifically on decision-making biases and ways in which we're inconsistent in our decision processes. Here, when they're talking about deviations from this rational economic man, they're actually thinking a little bit more broadly and saying, well, technically speaking, a narrow definition of rationality can't account for fairness. It can't account for anything other than what we would specifically consider consumption utility. And then there's a little bit of a gray area, right? Because if we say somebody has a preference for fairness, we could just include fairness as a parameter for our utility function and not necessarily have to change anything, not necessarily show that you know, we have the same inconsistencies as we do with behavior that's more specifically irrational. But it shows the whole spectrum of ways we can think about deviations from economic rationality. Some of them just require a slight modification to the utility function and then everything makes sense. You know, incorporate fairness, incorporate warm fuzzies, incorporate whatever you want. Other things are harder to do that with when they're specifically of a decision-making bias or decision-making inconsistency. And those are the sort of things that we focus on a little bit more here, but not exclusively. So I just wanted to make that clear. I'll put up a link on Blackboard to this as well if you want to access it directly. But definitely recommend. Super fun. 